Hey, hey, Roxanne, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, thank, thank you. And you? How are I'm, you? I'm doing good, thank you. Only that here it was rain, raining very hard a little while ago. No, and, really. and by Yes, and by your house it's not raining. It's raining but no hard. It's oh. like uh, um, a little raining. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh. But it isn't hard. Okay. Like 30 minutes ago, I lost mm -hmm. the electricity in, in, in my house. I said, oh, mm -hmm. no. Uh-huh. But, <laughs> but it returned. It returned. So it was okay. That's a pr big problem with online classes. <laughs> the electricity and the online connection. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, I think it's... Hi, Marcela. Hey, good Marcela. Evening, Marcela. Good evening. Hi. <laughs> yes, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's a bigger problem here because in, in I think in El Salvador for the, the structure is more, it's easy for the storms or the rain to destroy the, the connection for the electricity or for the internet or things like this. Because in other places, it's, the, it's more resistant. I think it's because the electricity is so loose. You see, and then in the storm, you lose the connection. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Hey, Gladys, Maria, good evening. Don't worry, Gladys. I understand you even if you are on mute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see, good, okay. So did anybody have a chance to enter into the platform, to watch the video, to advance a little bit? I did, uh, but uh, I, in the, in the space that used to be the homework, like in the uh, last course, uh, I, I don't have any exercises to do. Let me share my screen. Or do you know what, are, are you on your computer or your phone? Yeah. Share your screen. Let me see what okay. you're talking about. Okay. Share your screen. Because maybe somebody else has the same problem and we can see. Okay, like this. Mm, I don't have like. This is nothing. Yeah, that, but but uh, no. The next one. Click the next one. The one point. Yeah, yeah. Click on ah. that. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're I welcome. Only look. What the best way is that you see the little symbol that has like a notebook and the, yeah. like a pencil. That mm -hmm. those are the ones that oh, are evaluated. Okay. Those are the ones where you have your grades. Okay. I was wondering because uh, I I um, I was in that um, in, in the objective I saw mm -hmm. uh, and and then there was a check so I was but but I haven't do anything so you're thinking what why do I have a check uh huh uh huh it's because yeah. they they try to improve the platform a little bit each time and um, now the idea is that they give you a check if you read the objective to make mm. sure that you didn't skip any section. Because sometimes some of the students, uh, for example, they, they don't realize and they do 1.3 and then they stop and then they return and they say, oh, I did 1.4 and I go to 1.5. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's not that they did it, only that because there is no exercise, the mm. people forget, oh, it's important information, Sometimes it's, it's grammar structures, sometimes it's vocabulary, but 
always is important to help you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I have a question. Yes, of course. Yeah. I was working on the platform yesterday and I did a little bit more last night after the, the meeting, but I have a problem with the discussions. I, and it was the same for me the last course. I don't have a clue what will I do in that area, in that part. But it says discussion and I go and see, oh, there's nothing here or no one has posted anything yet. And I always have the same question. What should I post in what they say is this, when they say this question? What depends on the discussion. You post, uh, you answer the question or the statement. Um, can you read one of the discussions that you have? Let me look for it, but they didn't have any, any questions. Okay, let me take a look then. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. It says, filter topics, all discussions, post and following, and they say general week one, topic level, student visible label, and I don't see anything. Okay, let me take a look and see how. Okay. Well, only one of them, appreciation of the video. Hmm. So I click the first two or three and, and nothing shows up to, I'm, I think. Okay, let me take a look at one of the ones that has. I found one already. Okay. The scary story about a couple. But it's, it's like a short, story short for the video. But then it has the, I don't see any, any question, uh, only for, for post a comment. So what will I say? Yes, I like it. <laughs> or whatever you think about the, the video. It's just like a little discussion. So, for example, in you have uh, you watch the video uh, and yes. then you post um, I experienced the same or uh, I have never tried this or whatever it is that you are that that you relate to the video okay and that's it mm. and that's it yeah. it's just a, it's it's just a discussion between you and other classmates so when you post you are maybe you are the first one and that's why there is no other no one else there and then another person will post and they'll comment and say hey maria uh, i agree with you i've had this or or maybe they won't say anything to you and they'll only give their ideas of what has happened for them mm -hmm. oh, okay okay i will try thank you you're welcome mm -hmm. All right, anybody else have any other questions or comments for the, um, the work on they're doing on the platform or anything like this? I was making some of the exercises and I found that it's a kind of more, the, more comprehensive uh, activity than, than putting in, in practice the, and other things. Because they, there was a part where it says, once I got uh, 15 years old, and then you sh have to complete that. For me, sounds logical, two or three options. So I was reading one by one and doing, and finally, I, I think I guess, because they were right. <laughs> but, but it's a kind of, so, so in the same, for the same, uh, for complete the same sentence, you could complete with two or three options. So uh, how will we know? exactly which one some of them are so clear but for example that one uh, I'm, I'm talking about the the get to 15 years old mm -hmm. the options could be well i real I, they say that uh, i could take care of myself by the time i got to 15 years old like i could uh, take care of myself i didn't i couldn't save money any money was not i was not able to live by myself also, two or three options that could be could be used so i don't know i i let that one at the end and the another the another uh, sounds more logical to me so then i i came back with the one was left 
I said, okay, th this could fix too, and it was. But it was more guessing than really putting in practice what we were talking about the, the once or as soon as or by the time, or all those things. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. I'm, I'm looking at it right now, which is part of the, the activity. Uh, specifically for the 1.4, number one, um, here, let me share the screen so that in case anybody else has not done it, they, they understand what you are asking about, okay? This is her comment, or this is her question, is regarding this exercise, which is 1.4. Th this is the right one, right? Okay, okay, perfect. And she said that in this case, there are several answers that would uh, sound appropriate. For example, by the time I was 15, you know, um, I began to understand the value of money or I learned how to communicate better. Like, it doesn't have to be only I had learned how to take care of myself. I, I think this is not, this exercise in particular is not very objective because grammatically and looking at it, the, the, there is nothing that would make it incorrect to have a different one. It's just a matter of point of view that whoever, whoever designed this felt that, they, that this was the only answer. But in reality, no, because when you are talking about the time I was 15 is what you do before that, okay? Now, uh -huh. grammatically speaking is you need to use had and a past participle because this action had to happen before. Mm -hmm. But here we have three different ones. I had uh -huh. learned, we have I had never saved, okay? Uh -huh. And we have, I hadn't understood the importance of good health, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, maybe they're trying to trick you because, for example, in here, money is spelled incorrectly. I don't think it's, I don't think that's the intention, but I think maybe they made a mistake when they spelled money, but this one would not be correct for the spelling of this because it doesn't make mm -hmm. sense. For, for example, here is the correct form, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but here, I hadn't, understood the importance of good health yeah yeah um to be honest in this one it it is it looks more than anything uh, like you are guessing yes instead of being actually okay until i started working part-time right in some of the other ones it makes more sense for the type for for the type exactly. of structure See, when mm -hmm. you are talking about money or or pay check or living or sharing the, the room with someone else then it is more, has more sense. So what I did was let that one alone and I went to work with the another ones and then I was, I, I, that was guessing. You know? and, as, and as you said, I, feel, I felt like, uh, okay, what, what happened here? Because how will I know what he was thinking? The one who, who, who wrote the questions and the answers. That's right, that's right. And really, mm -hmm. especially in that first question that Maria is asking about, um, that way you know that the correct answer is I had learned how to take care of myself, but let's be honest, in El Salvador, in our culture, I know people that are 19, 20, and they don't know how to take care of themselves. They can't go to the, they can't go to the university alone, or they, their parents have to take them, or, you know, they can't go out by themselves, or, you know, they can't. They don't have a job. They've never had a job, and they are, you know, 22, 23, so it's, it's a point of view. It's, it's, I think more than anything, it's culturally and how you are raised in your family. So, yes, Maria, you are correct. And that one is, it's not a clear objective. It's, it's, it's not, it's not which one is the right answer because there could be other answers. It's more, what does the person who wrote it think would be the appropriate answer? And the issue could come in the midterm. I think if so. The there is issue, something like this. Yeah, I think it could come in the midterm. You're right. And I'm going to report it. I think it won't because in the midterm, you don't have so many options. In the option huh. here, I think that the main issue here is that they gave too many options and some of the other options are logical. Mm -hmm. Because if you, if, if you have a normal structure, like a three or four multiple choice, ah, then it's easier to, to put answers that maybe not, don't sound so logical. But I think the problem is here that they try to put so many choices that, you know, then you say, well, really? This one could be possible. There's no reason why it's not possible. Okay, thank you. 
Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Any other comment or question? Okay, great. Then exactly what Maria was talking about, we're going to be taking a look at. Um, the idea is actually to to help you out is uh, work on the 1.4 and the 1.5, okay? The 1.4 is a speaking exercise. This is you and your partners. You're going to talk about, just like what we discussed with Maria, you don't have to use the answers that are there. You're going to complete with real information about you. So, for example, Maria said, by the time I was 15, what happened in Maria's life? Okay. I, and then whatever she had, right? I had gone to another country. I had learned to swim. I had drank my first beer, right? I don't know. I don't know, Maria. Maybe, maybe I, I don't no. know. How, uh -huh. Okay. Maybe or, not 15. <laughs> maybe not 15. Maybe not 15. Maybe for Maria, she had had two times had, she had had her first communion, mm, or right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe her baptism, or I don't know, or she had had her quinceañera, okay? Mm -hmm. mm, something like this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to pair up with our partners one more time. It's going to be in the platform 1.4, okay? Is there anybody that doesn't have access to the platform because, or in, in this moment? Because if you don't, I can put here in the chat to help you so that way you understand which ones we're doing. Can you please put in the chat? Okay, of course. Then I will tell you that I will put down what you're going to start with. And then this is only what you're going to, this is only to begin. You are going to complete with your information. Okay. okay. I'll put them all here to make sure everybody gets them. If there's a statement that you're not sure about or you don't know what it means, just ask me. Then we can make sure that you understand before you get into your groups and begin working on them. Yes. Teacher, can you explain again what we're going to do in the in the Rooms. Okay, Please. perfect. Yes, 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 of course. Thank you, teacher. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, we are going to complete the sentences that are in the chat in this moment. These sentences are the same sentences that are in 1.4 in the platform. Okay, so they are, you can go to 1.4 and look at the sentences and complete them. Or here in the chat, you can read them and answer them with your partners. Okay, okay thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Teacher, yesterday, yesterday you shared a slide about the structure of these time clauses. Can you share it again or send us by WhatsApp, please? Yes, oh, it's, it's already in WhatsApp. So. I think that's the one that you are, take a look, is the one from yesterday, is the one that I shared in WhatsApp, but is the same one that's in the platform, okay? Mm -hmm. Did you already put in the, in, in the chat? I don't see it. No, okay. I, 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 I didn't see two. Let me take a look. I didn't see either, is that right? Mm -hmm. Let's see. You just send the conversation. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, not a structure. Okay, hang on. You are correct. Let me put in the WhatsApp so that everybody can have it. I will send the the structure as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Just give me a moment and I will find it. So I'm going to uh, send it into the chat, but in this moment, we are going to make our groups, okay? Mm -hmm. mm, are there any questions? So right now we're going to complete 
those statements that are in the chat with your own ideas, right? So you have to be careful with how you use the, the verbs. Okay, I think this is one of them. I'm going to put, okay, we make sure we have it correctly. There's one. Okay. One moment. There's another one. And yeah, I think those are the only ones that you need. Okay. And the other ones are just the explanation for the, the different things. Okay. So remember, all of these things that are going to the WhatsApp group, also you have access to. You, if you watch the videos or you go into the platform, always they are there already. Okay. Mm. All right. Did you receive the invitations? Okay. Abner, did you receive the invitation? No yet. Well, because in my case, Eric, I didn't receive the invitation. Eric, you didn't receive one? No, I didn't receive it. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Yes, I have you in group five. Okay, hang on. Let's try again. Now we got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Vanessa, Claudia, Daniel. Okay, yes, okay, okay. Claudia, Vanessa, did you receive the invitation? No, teacher. No, okay. No. All right. Thank you. Let's check. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, and now? Vanessa, did you receive the invitation now? Okay, maybe one example, it can be by the time I was 15, I had learned how to drive. 
Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. So the next one. Okay. Um maybe until I start. But we have to every every one of us have to give an example for for each I guess. Uh, so everybody we we have to think so. Yes, each person has to complete with their own information. All the all the sentences. Each sentence, exactly. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. What about you? We were practicing sports. I was telling them that by the time I was 15, I was already beginning the first year for bachillerato, the high school, in first year. In those days, okay, in my, the, in my the, case. The, mm -hmm. In my case, when I was 15 years old, I liked to play, play to basketball. And now, and now, ya no. I have some... Go. And you have never. Hey, let me see. By the time I got my degree at the university, uh, um. I bought some clothes to my niece. She was she was recently born when I was starting working at part time. Yeah, That's you're a I very nice good. uncle. <laughs> I try to. <laughs> Great. Hi, Miriam. Hello. Hello, Miriam. I'm Welcome. sorry. I'm late. I'm sorry, but it was. Uh, gladly. Okay. That's nice. Uh, the next one, if you want to, Ruth. Okay. Um, I started working part time. Uh, until. I. Until I started working part time. And to be honest, I didn't have part time before. <laughs> Just uh, for a day. But when I started working, um, I enjoy to, to have that responsibility for me because let me think. Okay. Peter, I have a question. Yeah, what's the question? Uh, I didn't. Uh, well, I didn't. Where was at the class yesterday because of my job. Um, so I want to make sure if this structure for these time clauses is. First, the time clauses, and then we have to use the past perfect. No, you don't have to no. use the past perfect. No, you you can use the past perfect, um, but it's not it's not necessary. As the example, uh, I don't know who's sharing the screen, but you can see in number three, the moment I got my first paycheck, is not perfect. Only is the past, the simple past. I began to understand mm -hmm. the value of money. Okay, is not it. The past perfect only indicates that you do this action before the other action. It's not that you, it's not that it has to be this form, okay? So sometimes when you're using the time clauses, eh, you are going to do an action after this time, you're going to do an action before the time, or you're going to do an action at the same time. 
So it is more about the idea, like the logic, okay? Um, so like this morning, okay? The moment I woke up, okay, this morning, what did you do? Ah, I took a shower, I had breakfast, I got dressed, okay? And it's only the simple past because all of these actions happen after. So the moment is, this is the idea, but the idea for the concept of the moment is these other actions happen closely or at the same time after this action. All right, so I can use uh, many time, many tenses. I can use simple past, past perfect, or past continuous. maybe simple present, maybe. Yes, correct. Depending, okay. on, depending on the situation. Simple present may be a little bit harder, but the other ones, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. okay. It all depends. Thank you. You're welcome. In, in the WhatsApp group, you can see that there are some examples okay um for the time clauses the same that are in the platform with before and after and once and all of these all right okay thank you you're welcome the moment i got my shoes uh, excuse me what the question yeah. okay. uh, until i started working okay. part-time so what did you do before you started working part time, or what were you doing before working part time? Uh, um, when I was working part time, uh, I I gained a lot of money in, with my parents when I was studying studying. Um, uh, I use I used to like uh, working in a lot of things. Okay, Claudia. Okay. The next, the next is uh, the moment I got I. Uh, I felt, I felt, I felt, uh, I felt most important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the moment I got my first paycheck, I felt like an adult. Okay. <laughs> And you, Mauricio or Patricia? I got my first paycheck in my first job. And you, Patricia? Oh, let's see. The moment I left my house, I... Okay, are there any questions? Ruth, any questions? No, no questions. Okay, perfect. We'll take a look. Okay. Just one moment for everybody else to make sure. All right, I think everybody else is okay. Most of those are pretty good, but we just need to clarify a couple of things. Um, okay, 
there are some of the words or some of the time clauses that seem to give you a little bit of confusion of yes. when we use one or when we use the other, okay? So let me give you here, okay? I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay. Can everybody see the screen? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. All right. So what we want to look at is here, the functions of the different time clauses. When we use the time clause once or as soon as is when we use when one event happens and another event happens soon afterwards. That means it doesn't have to be at the same time or it just has to be close to the original time. Okay. So when you say once I got married or once I graduated high school, I got a job. It's not that the same moment, but is in a short time this action happened. This is the same for as soon as. The two have the same meanings. Is that okay? For as soon as? Okay. All right. Perfect. Then we have the teacher, next. Yes. Teacher, uh, just checking one and as soon as is the same. Correct. Okay. Correct. Thank you. You're welcome. The next one we have is the moment. The moment is used for a particular point of time when the things happen together. It's different than once and as soon as. Once and as soon as is one action and then the next one, okay? One, the, as soon as is one action and then another one follows afterwards. But, okay? When you say the moment is the two at this time, okay? The moment I, I got, I graduated, I, I felt happy at the same time. It's okay for the idea for the moment? Yeah, there is a song. It is a little piece of that beautiful old song. That's why I know it. Oh. And the song says, the moment I wake up, before I put on my makeup, I say a <laughs> pray for you. Remember that one. So yes. Like you. Exactly. So that's the idea. You do this action, and at the same time, you do the other action. Okay. It's like a linking one. Yes. Yes. All of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Here we have until. Until is to that time and no longer. So that means there is a limit. So until, and many people use um, until you learn to, or until you have your first job, you don't feel like an adult. Okay. So if this doesn't happen, the next one is not going to continue. Okay. Or think about it for time, like our class. Okay. We have class until nine o'clock. That means at that time, and then no longer, we stop. It's okay until? Yeah. Yeah, I used to do Okay, perfect. Okay. After until, we have by the time. Here is where we use the past perfect. Somebody asked me about the perfect. I don't remember, but here is normally when you use the past perfect, is when you use the time by the time. The by the time is because normally is one event is completed before another event, okay? So by the time I graduated, I had bought a car. By the time I finished class, I had learned English because this event or this action happens before the other one. It's okay by the time? Yeah. So yeah, it's good. By the time is yes. this action and then another one before. Good. Okay. And that's that's all of them. Okay.
Okay. All right. Now, remember, you still need to complete in your platform for your grade 1.4, which is the one that we were just discussing. Okay. You just go ahead and complete those. Choose the right ones. Remember that number one, like we just said, by the time, okay, we use a perfect form. Here, in this case, it's going to be, I had learned how to take care of myself. Even if the others have perfect, it's not the right one. Okay. Then you have the listening, which is just you and listening to the people describing the events of their lives. And now we continue with the next topic. Our next topic teacher, is, yes. Teacher, I have a question. Okay. Uh, when we use these uh, time clauses, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we have like two sentences and we have to separate it for the comma. Correct. Right? Correct. It's uh, separated can you by explain, comma. Uh, can you explain to me uh, when we separate and um, when we use at the beginning or in the middle? Okay, it depends on the event, but okay. whenever, whenever you use the time clause at the beginning, by the time, uh, once, uh, until, when you use a time clause at the beginning, after you finish the first action or the first activity, then you put a comma. Okay, let me write that. <laughs> yes. So, the time clause, then you use the first action or activity, and then is when you put the comma. Oops. Okay, know. thank you. You're welcome. And when we use it at the middle or something, can we use it at the middle? Um, depends. Some of them, yes, but not, not all of them. It depends on the situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so, it's, so it's more common to use it at the beginning. Correct. Because normally this is where you have your statement, okay? You normally begin with a sentence like, once. Once I learn how to speak, I'm going to get a job. Okay. Okay. But, okay. but the same you can say, I'm going to get a job once I learn how to speak it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Peter. You're welcome. Now, I think this is in combination with the other question. If you use it in the middle, is you don't normally use the comma. So as the example, once I, I we're going to use this. Okay. Once I, uh, or sorry, I am going to get a job, no time, okay? Everybody realize, no time, only the action. I am going to get a job after I learn how to speak, okay? So that's why I say that it depends on the clause because it, it just has to be logical because some of them are specifically, like it doesn't make sense if I use the word before. Grammatically, it's in the correct position. Okay, I'm going to get a job before I learn how to speak, but logically, it's not correct. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? Okay, great. All right. So our next one or the next topic for today is I already sent in the chat. Okay. And for those that are in the cell phone, you can see that it has to do with vocabulary. The next topic is our vocabulary. Okay. So I'll also share here to make sure that everybody can see it. Okay. We have several different words. And the reason is because we're looking at how to describe behavior and personality. First, let's take a look. What's the difference between a behavior and personality? Be 
behavior could be the way you are acting acting in some specific moment. Okay. But not the way you really are, maybe. Okay. Or, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So exactly, behavior is more a reflective of your actions and not your state. Okay, your personality is more you, but the behavior is how you project it. Okay. Here we have several words that we use to describe different things. We have ambitious, argumentative, carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, and sophisticated. Are there any of those words that you don't know what they mean? Na naive, na naive, naive. <laughs> Correct. Naive. One, one more time, the pronunciation is nai, almost, almost like the number nine, but it's nai, nai naive. Naive. Correct. Mm -hmm. Almost as our president name. Almost, <laughs> almost. Now, naive, naive is the idea that somebody believes things. Like if, um, like the children. The children believe in Santa Claus. The children believe in the tooth fairy. Because they are naive. They think that these things exist. What about carefree? Carefree is somebody who has no responsibilities. They are not, a, they, they don't have anything that they worry about. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? I'm sorry, one more time. Rebellious. Good. Rebellious. Rebellious is normally, we normally refer to it like teenagers. Teenagers that are always trying to push the limit, trying to talk back, trying to, they, they are trying to do the opposite. You say, uh, stand up, they sit down. You say no, they do yes. This is usually the idea for rebellious. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Pragmatic teacher. Pragmatic. Pragmatic. Oh, pragmatic. Pragmatic. Can you can you repeat it? Of course. Prag. Pragmatic. Pragmatic. Mm -hmm. Pragmatic. Pragmatic. Mm -hmm. Pragmatic is the person who is usually uh, sensible and logical. This is a pragmatic. They don't complicate their lives the way that we think about it. Okay. Uh, can you repeat the pronunciation of the, the fourth one? The fourth one, two, three, four. Ah, conscientious. Conscientious. Correct. Conscientious. Conscientious. Mm -hmm. So, as an example, a conscientious is usually a person that is concerned with or understands the situations. So, let's say that in this moment, the I don't know, the, the in my house, the electricity goes out. Okay. Now, you could be argumentative and say, oh, I can't believe I didn't get all of the class or are angry. Or you can be conscientious. Ah, is not, is not with his intention. It's, it happens for everyone. I wait a few moments. This is conscientious. It's, it's not that you are angry or happy. It's that you comprehend the most situations. Is that okay? Could be a synonymous of uh, understanding? Yes, it could be similar to the idea of understanding. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Anybody, any other word? All these words are referred to behavior or to personality? They are mixed. That's why they are together. They refer to uh, behavior and or personalities. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we ask, or normally the question is, what's he like? What's she like? Or when you go to the job interview and they say, what are you like? Tell me about yourself. Have you heard this in a job interview? This is the, the most common question. They say, tell me about yourself. What are you like? What do you do? Oh, they are asked, this is what they're asking you. To describe your personality, to describe your behavior. Okay, are you carefree? Are you pragmatic? Are you angry, right? This is normally the, the type of things that we do. Oh, I am, uh, I am hardworking, okay? I am sensible, I am talkative. These are the, but we also have these other words that we use. Okay. So in this moment, what we're going to do is, we're going to make, again, uh, small little groups and we're gonna describe people that we know. The idea is you can use these vocabulary words or you can use other words to describe people, all right? So as an example, I don't know your brother, I don't know your sister, I don't know your mother, your father, but if I ask you the question, what is he like? What is she like or what are they like? You should be able to answer me using descriptive words. Oh, not only physical appearance, right? This is different. It's not what does he or she look like. It's what are they like is talk about them, not the physical. Okay, are you ready for the groups? Yes. Okay, yes, yes. perfect. All right, let's go to the group and ask about different people. Not only the same people, ask about different people. Heidi, are you okay? Heidi? Are you having any problems or technical issues? Carefree, ingenuo, naive. Carefree, despreocupado, pragmatic, pragmatic. Oh, sense, sense, sense. Ambitious, okay. argumentative, carefree. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you, Daniel? <laughs> so fine, so fine. Uh, okay. Teacher, can you explain yeah. the topic, please? Because I didn't, I don't understand very well. Okay, we are. What you are doing is you are describing different people. You are describing their personality and behavior, not their physical. Okay. 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 Uh, so when I say Daniel, what are you like, or what's he like, then you uh, are describing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, or personality, or nuestra propia personalidad? Correct, these are the personalities. When they say, what's it like? Okay, in this case, Abner, uh, what, uh, 
¿Cómo eres tú? How are, how are you? How are you? You, you get it? ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo la pregunta? More or less. The question is, what? What are you like? What are you like, Abner? Uh -huh, exactly. Or for, what is your mother like? What is your father like? But this ah, is the idea. Okay. Ah, like. okay. What are your mother like? What are your father like? Okay. Oh, okay. Same. What is? Remember, is for one, are for two. Okay. okay. In plural, are. In, in singular, is. Okay. Correct. Correct. Okay. Two okay. hours straight. So. Let's see. We have to describe somebody with the words that the teacher gave yes. us. Gave us, sir. Yes. Hmm. So, do you want to start? I'm going to to, to describe with someone, someone that I have in my mind. Let's put it. Let's call. Let's call him. Uh, Anton. I don't know who, who Antonio is. Uh, we, we we have to use the adjectives that that he show us. Uh, and carefree, ambitious. Na okay. Native, I don't know, I, I'm not sure about the pronunciation. Na Which, na no, 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 na na naive. 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 Na naive. 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 Almost, exactly. Almost, almost, someone said like the president, naive, but no B. Naive with V. Naive. 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 So, naive. Uh -huh. naive. Naive. Okay. So, uh, for example, we, we, we the, the exercise we have to ask about uh, people around us. For example, what what is your wife like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is your wife like? What are you like? Okay. For example, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. questions that are normally asked. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mauricio. Hello. Okay. Uh, uh, my in my car in my in, in my case, uh, my wife is cowboy. Uh, <laughs> Be like uh, very yes. are very aware about that because uh, all the situations. So you. I think no one right now is a hundred percent. You're right. Yeah, that's that's a good thing, uh, a, a terrible thing, but it's like a for the whole world. It's not just in El Salvador, right? Is the whole world is living a a big situation? Yeah, some mm -hmm. people are trying to start a with um, with a, a new business or trying to 